Do you know the copyright rules, or are they fuzzy? Do you have a presentation coming up? Do you use photos from Google Images? Teachers can legally use copyrighted photos, movie clips, or songs in the classroom if the material is used for educational purposes. We have this privilege due to fair use in the TEACH Act. However, outside of the classroom, use of those materials breaks the law. Google is designed to be a search engine, not a photo repository. Google Images looks like a photo repository and the pictures are easy to copy. If you're using these pictures for project viewed outside of a classroom, you're breaking the law. A student might be covered when using a copyrighted image in a class assignment, but afterward, if you're tempted to show off and email them to mom or to an employer in a portfolio or post them on Facebook, then you've crossed the line and broken the law. Copyright holders and their attorneys have become more aggressive about enforcement. It is naive to think you won't get caught or sued. There is a solution. Creative Commons is a nonprofit organization that enables the sharing and use of creativity and knowledge through free legal tools. Creative Commons licenses are not an alternative to copyright. They work alongside copyright and enable you to modify your copyright terms to best suit your needs. There is a community of people that have created work they want to share. In the middle right hand side of the screen you will see an explore tab. This is an area to go to when you're looking for material you can legally use. After you click on the Find CC License Works tab, you'll be brought to this screen. Notice where the arrow is pointing. Most of the time, you'll be searching for materials that you don't plan to sell. You just want to borrow them, so you would unclick the Use for Commercial Purposes tab. On the flip side of that, this is a way for artists to share work, and if someone wants to use it in a marketing campaign, they have a way to find your work and contact you. The Modify, Adapt, or Build Upon tab is very important to pay attention to. This is a strict rule. If a photo is listed as no modifications and I want to put words on top of it for a presentation, I can't. So you might want to keep that tab checked. This will give you flexibility to modify the material. I start with Flickr for photos and start with Jamendo when searching for music. Earlier, you saw the results from Google Images when I searched for Monkey. This is the beginning of the search result in Flickr when I search for pictures I can use for non-commercial purposes and have permission to modify upon or build on. I really like the one in the middle towards the left, so I'm going to click on that. When you're in Flickr and right click on a photo, you'll see symbols that explain the rights. You can then choose which size of the photo to download. Warning! You'll be tempted to do your second search in this search tab. You're now in Flickr. If you use this search engine, you'll be searching all of Flickr and your results will include photos that are fully copyrighted, meaning you don't have the permission to use them. The photographer or business posted the photo to advertise their work or their business. The photo probably doesn't have a CC license. It's best to click back on your search browser or somehow go back to creativecommons.org for your second search. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find all the information you need to properly cite the image. Credit should always be given to the photographer. The license should be noted. Ideally, you'll provide the link back to the picture in Flickr. The link is going to be long. I commonly go to tinyurl and paste in the long link to get a shorter one, and that's totally acceptable. Let's go back and look at those rights. I want to explain those little symbols. You can get to an explanation of the licenses from each photo. Attribution simply means you're going to give credit to the source. Non-commercial means don't use this photo in a project that you're making money off of, unless you contact them and agree to pay them their terms. Share alike needs some further explanation. If you use materials with a share alike permission, then you must put the same or similar license on the work that you're going to use the image in. If you're working on a project that you don't intend to CC license, then you can't use share alike materials. It's kind of like a version of the golden rule. They're sharing this with you and they want you to share it with others. You can help build the Creative Commons community when you put a CC license on your project. I want to encourage you to allow modifications. What if I want to put together a presentation of the best slides? I can't do that unless I have permission to modify or build upon. Of course, I don't plan to profit from your work. I clicked on the share like feature so you can see what the symbol looks like. 
It's simple to copy and paste this gray box and the text under it. These symbols allow us to identify when someone is giving permission versus having to contact them and hope they respond. This also frees up the author from having to answer hundreds of requests for permission. You can share something and still later make money off of it, but you can't revoke the rights of those who are using it because you gave legal permission. So those people can still use it for free, but you can also make money off of it. If someone contacts you and says, I want to use your project in my work, that's going to be for commercial purposes. For example, suppose I've shared a photo of a beautiful eagle soaring in front of Mount Rainier and put it on Flickr, and then someone contacts me and wants to put it into a calendar that they're selling. I still have the power to make money off of it by letting it be in the calendar but I can't revoke the permission of those who may already be using the image for free. This copyright lesson has a CC license. You can freely share it as long as you give credit. Feel free to make any modifications. Don't use it for commercial purposes. And please share or like anything you use it in. Thank you. Have a good day.